Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So, we're here to do the second half of June readings for Pisces. I know I am so late. I did not do your um, uh, be beginning of June readings. A lot has been going on, okay? Mercury retrograde, a lot of stuff just, you know, in general. And I couldn't get them out, okay? So, I was like, I need to do you guys first, okay? What are signs you guys are getting yours first, okay? So, this is for Pisces, okay? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, okay? And we're going to look at, I'm doing my normal format, okay? Looking at the past, what's coming up in the immediate future, what are you thinking about, what's the root of it, and yeah, give some advice, all right? For Pisces. Let's see what your overall energy is for the second half of June, Pisces. Overall energy. Overall energy is spring, okay? So it says, love is blooming. Your answers will arrive in spring. Now, we've, we're already, you know, past spring, really, okay? Well, we're still in spring, at least on this side of the world, okay? So, um, yeah, we're still in spring, but I do feel like love is blooming for you, Pisces. And you could get some answers here in spring before summer hits. It says settling, okay? Scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith. Believe that you deserve the best. It says love is blooming and then believe that you deserve the best. You may be um, feeling like it's not going to come for you. Like you're not going to get it, okay? So let's see. What's your energy in the second half of June? Travel. It says movement, meeting, adventure. Be ready for new experiences. Okay. I feel like you might have a trip coming in the second half of June. All right. What happened in the recent past? Cycles, momentum, force, life cycles. Stay grounded in the now. Okay. Maybe you did experience some cycles, like some things that were going like round and round, like revisiting things again and again. Okay. Well, what are you thinking about? Alone, abandoned, lonely, lost, the divine is with you, okay? You may be thinking about how, you know, you might not have a person right now or, you know, like if you're single or maybe feeling alone because you might miss someone, okay? What's the root of it? Control, stagnation, delusion, release the need to control situations, all right? It could be that, you know, you're trying to control the outcome or control like how things go. But we're going to clarify and see what's coming in the immediate future. Blessings, protection, attention, love. Your guys are always with you. Okay. Now, with your overall energy being spring, your love is blooming. Like you don't believe it with this scarcity settling mindset, right? But it's coming. So let's clarify these messages for you here. In the second half of June, for Pisces. For Pisces spirit. Clarifying these messages for Pisces. I feel like, you know, you might have been alone for some time and you're just like, yeah, it's not going to come for me. Love isn't for me. Let's see. Why is spring the overall energy for Pisces here? In the second half of June, spirit. I did a pre shuffle. Okay. All right. So you get the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Could be done with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you might have experienced some cycles in the past that gave you this um, this attitude towards love right now. Okay, and with the Knight of Cups here, someone's taking action. Okay, someone's taking action. Um, I feel like you might have been experiencing some cycles with this person or with someone in the past, but there's some movement towards you now. Okay, and it seems like it's going towards the Ten of Cups, and this is like 
total fulfillment in love or emotional fulfillment, right? This is like everything, okay? As far as like love in a relationship, that's being in love, okay? Complete satisfaction. And with judgment here, this is like a second chance. This is something like coming back around, okay? So that's why I was saying like you might have experienced some cycles here in the past with someone, they gave you like this scarcity mindset where you're just like, uh, it's not going to work. It's never going to happen. Okay. Um, because someone has some regrets with the five of cups on the bottom. This is coming. This movement is coming from someone that might have some regrets. Okay. Yeah. Um, regrets of whatever actions that they took. Okay. With the Knight of wands energy, this could be someone regretting like being in and out um, regretting like not being reliable, regretting like holding secrets with the high priestess, okay? But they're coming in now, all right, with some action. Love is blooming. Okay, Pisces. Let's see. Why is travel here for your energy in the second half of June? Movement, meeting, adventure. Be ready for new experiences. Why is travel here for Pisces in the second half of June? Travel. Why is travel here for Pisces in the second half of June? Yeah, it's because you're guarded, okay? You're guarded and, um, oh no, this is the five of, five of wands. I'm sorry, scratch that. With the Five of Wands, this is conflict. Okay? It's conflict. With someone from the past. Okay? So maybe you were working with someone in the past, building with someone in the past, and there was conflict. Okay? It's conflict with someone in the past. Um... It says movement, meeting, adventure, be ready for new experiences. There was conflict with someone in the past, okay? So why is travel here for Pisces in the second half of June? Why is conflict, I mean, why is travel, okay, here for Pisces in the second half of June? Yeah, that's same from the past. Okay, yeah, it's healing. I, I felt it, all right? I felt like, I felt like it. I felt, I didn't want to say it, but I felt like it, <laughs> okay? But the four of swords, this is something that is healing, okay? This is an opportunity that is healing okay healing conflict all right there is some movement coming in all right there is some maybe a meeting somebody might reach out to like meet up with you okay in the second half of june maybe go somewhere with you the travel card all right um it seems like it's the same person that was in and out okay they're coming to you to maybe heal some conflict that occurred between the two of you okay and they want to hang out okay with the three of cups they want to hang out. You guys might have mutual friends. It's the friends card. Okay. This is about hanging out, coming together, enjoying one's company, celebrations, happiness, joy. I feel like this person wants to heal um, things with you, create some movement in the connection. All right. Maybe apologize for conflict that might have occurred. All right. And just hang out. Spend some time. It's the same person from the past that you were building something with. Okay, all right. So let's see what happened in the recent past with cycles. Okay, why is cycles here for Pisces in the recent past? Why is cycles here for Pisces in the recent past? Cycles. For Pisces in the recent past. Cycles. For Pisces. Momentum, force, life cycles stay grounded in the now. Why are cycles here in the recent past for Pisces? Okay. 
<laughs> that was a lot. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, that's why. Jeez uh, Louise. Yeah. This is why. This is why. <laughs> I was like, why wasn't the cars coming out? They were organizing, okay? Like, this is what happened. So in the recent past cycles, right? right, Revisiting things, coming back around over and over and over again. Somebody came to you in the recent past, like, okay, I want to work on it, right? They communicated, came in, flirting, right? Made you excited. They want to work on a connection, right? You started building, okay? And then they disappeared, okay? With the hermit energy, they went ghost, okay? You were like, where is this person, okay? A little confused, all right? With the seven of swords, you you were like, well, what's going on? Like, you're not telling the truth about something. Like, you just disappeared. What are you thinking about? You're not sharing things with me, right? They were holding back, all right? They were holding back from, like, movement forward. They were holding back from, like, the next step, okay, with the four of pentacles, all right? Um, the will of fortune. This is about positive change, movement forward. This is about um, divine timing, okay? Um, because... But the Ten of Swords and the Hierophant, I feel like somebody was in something, okay? Maybe like a, a marriage or a long-term commitment that they um, maybe experienced like a bad, had a bad experience with the Ten of Swords and the Hierophant, okay? Um, so this person has uh, like a bad taste in their mouth of, around commitment, okay? Doesn't mean that they were married just in a recent past. They could have been married, all right, and experienced like a Ten of Swords in that. Okay, or was in a long term commitment and experienced a tennis of in that. So this had to happen. It wasn't with the with the will of fortune here, it wasn't the right time. Okay. Like this person wasn't yet healed from that. Okay. And so things weren't moving forward. Okay, with the eight of wands in the tower, it was like, oh, everything was going smooth, everything was moving, and then boom. Unexpected, right? So that's what occurred here in the recent past. I'm going to put them out. I'm going to put all of them out. Right there. Okay? So, you might be thinking, like, you know, with the alone card here, that's why, that's what's on your mind. Like, I'm, maybe I'm meant to be by myself. Maybe I ain't, you know, I'm not supposed to be in a relationship right now. Maybe it's best for me to just be alone. Maybe I'm just going to be alone all my life. Right? Why is alone here for Pisces in the second half of June as what they're thinking about? Okay, the Prince of Swords, all right, with the Strength card on the bottom, all right, this is somebody, yeah, Ten of Pentacles right behind that, this could be someone, like, clarify alone, because I don't want to say the wrong thing, clarify alone for Pisces in the second half of June. High Priestess and the Chariot, okay? Cancer your energy. Okay. Okay. So you might be thinking about, I mean, you might be thinking that you're going to be alone, okay? Or that I'm going to be alone all my life, whatever the case may be. But... With the Knight of Swords in here, this is going to be unexpected, okay? Um, even though this is what you're thinking about being alone, what's actually going to occur here is like unexpected communication. It's going to come out of nowhere. Um, and this is, you know, with the High Priestess, it's like something you don't necessarily know about, right? Um, but intuitively, you probably feel it, okay, that someone's going to come towards you. Um, because I feel like whatever information is coming towards you is going to be about, it's going to be a conversation about movement forward. Like, how can we move forward? Okay, with the Cancerian energy, chariot. Okay, like someone's been using their intuition, someone's been maybe holding in feelings. Okay, but the communication is coming in, it's going to come in unexpectedly. Okay, six of pentacles on the bottom, um, and the five of swords. This could have been, um, this for the five of swords. This is my mind's playing tricks on me card. 
I feel like someone saw this as a balanced connection, saw this as like the right thing to do, but they weren't quite sure what the five of swords like. They were allowing their mind to play tricks on them, okay? Maybe because, like we saw in the recent past, they had been like hurt in a long-term commitment before, okay? And was basically like, I don't trust love, okay? I don't trust this being in relationship stuff, right? So why is control here as the root, okay, for Pisces? It says stagnation, delusion, release the need to control situations. Okay. It didn't turn over, so I'm not going to take it. Why is control here for Pisces? Mm -hmm. The Ten of Pentacles, okay, with the King of Wands on the bottom and the Ace of Wands. Okay, it could be done for fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, let's get some more. Um, Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone was definitely, like with the Seven of Wands on the bottom, blocking desires. It's like they weren't, they were like maybe coming up with every excuse possible of why it wasn't gonna work. Um, Control. Maybe this was you, Pisces. Okay. Because what you also have is, yeah, the magician. Okay. Gemini Virgo energy and the lovers, Gemini energy. Okay. The death card and the eight of wands. Okay. This could be someone that is ending a um, a long-term commitment, okay? But this can also be someone that is putting it into, um, like, trying to take control over things or trying to be in control of things or um, putting it into sabotaging behavior, okay? Because with the Eight of Swords, it's like sabotaging, right? You're coming up with... Um, obstacles that aren't really obstacles, okay? Self-imposed restrictions, right? I feel like this is someone that is changing, okay? They're starting to see, you know, with the magician energy, they're starting to see, you know, that this is something that they might have manifested or vice versa. Yeah, I feel like this is something, this is someone that is changing, okay? Yeah. And so things are going to, things are changing. The communication is coming in. Why is blessings here in the immediate future for Pisces? Okay. I definitely feel like blessings are coming your way, Pisces. It says protection, attention, love. Your guys are always with you. Why is protection, I mean, blessings here in the immediate future for Pisces in the second half of June, spirit? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you have the three of wands, okay? This is um, waiting for your ships to come in, right? It's waiting, it's vision for the future, okay? This is curiosity. I feel like someone is interested, okay? It's like someone was controlling the narrative. They were like, oh, you know, this is never gonna work. Um, no, we need to put it into this or whatever the case may be. Someone was controlling the narrative. But with the page of swords here, this is someone figuring something out or interested, okay? This is curiosity about with the nine of cups, it's like someone sees this as a wish fulfillment, all right? And they are making an offer. This is that person from the past, okay? Six of cups. This this is an offer that's coming in, okay? Someone is interested about the future with you, okay? They're starting to see you as a wish fulfillment. I feel like they always, always did see you as a wish fulfillment. Somebody could have, you know, been like keeping their eyes on you this whole time. Okay. So you definitely have an offer that's coming in. So I'm going to give you, Pisces, <laughs> some messages from my Straight Facts Tarot deck, Oracle deck. It's not a tarot deck. It's Oracle deck. 
Okay, these are the messages. Like, what could your person, like, want to say to you? Right here. Second half of June. Like, what would your person want to say to you? What could they say? What do they want to say? Let's see. For Pisces in the second half of June. What messages do we have for Pisces in the second half of June? Thank you, Spirit. What messages do we have for Pisces in the second half of June? Okay. Look, it says, my heart hurts. I regret so much for what has happened. Okay. So this person definitely regrets, like, whatever movements they made in the past. Okay, definitely that six of cups kept coming out. I do feel like this person misses you a lot. That's about nostalgia, yearning, missing, right? It says a wish granted. And just like that, your wish is granted. What you ask for from spirit is here. It is time to celebrate. Use this blessing to bless others and raise the vibration of the world. Okay, whatever you ask for from spirit is here for you, Pisces. Okay. So you might have this like, you know, pessimistic attitude like, oh, no, it's never coming. But it is. It's here. OK, it says, bro, unexpected heartbreak. Wow. I was not expecting that. OK, this is like my three of swords energy. All right. So on the bottom of the deck, it says, I'm in love with you. I feel like you're the one. OK, I do feel like this person regrets 100 percent about how they treated you. OK, we saw the five of cups. I do feel like they see you as a wish fulfilled now. We see the nine of cups and they are heartbroken about it. Okay. So that's what they want to say to you. Now let's get you some advice from a spirit using our wisdom of the, with a wisdom of the Oracle deck for Pisces in the second half of June. For Pisces. For Pisces. Any advice for Pisces in the second half of June, Spirit? Poised, okay? TikTok on the bottom, okay? So, TikTok, things are working. Time is moving. Number 48 is poised. And it says, the relationship message says, uh, when you're confident and happy in your own skin, you are ready for deeper, more intimate relationships. You have nothing to prove right now. You are completely yourself and can handle anything. Love, friendships, and harmonious new connections are all present now and are coming in. You're ready to give and receive from the heart. This is a beautiful place to be, okay? You've healed yourself, okay, from their poor behaviors and you're ready to receive okay pisces but well, that's what i have for you second half of june i hope this helped i look forward to seeing you guys soon please like comment share and subscribe I wish you guys are ready and i'm so so sorry <laughs> bye oh